All right, so let's jump right back into this. And uh, this is a continuation of the one where we were actually drawing a little bit of a character. And we have kind of the head and some eyes and mouth and arms and so. But the next part of the challenge is to actually make some legs. But it's kind of tough after a while to realize where you're drawing and where you're trying to make your marks and stuff. So there's actually a way, a solution to get out of this by coding your way out of it. So really quickly here, let's see if we can't do just that. If I wanted to try to figure out where my mouse is, what could I do? I mean, there's actually a value, if we look at that example we did before, called mouse X and mouse Y, where we could draw a ball around the screen. But drawing a ball around the screen isn't really going to help me. Maybe I can actually print those out. And there's a command called the text command that will let me print all kinds of things out all kinds of things. So I have that in quotes. And if I give, uh, the text command works like this. The first one is what you're trying to print out. And then the next two, uh, the next two bits actually explains the X and Y coordinate. So it's looking for locations for it to be. So let's put in a couple locations. Let's use 1313. That'll put it up in the top left corner. Remember zero, zero is up in the top corner. And it's positive x this way, positive y down. So if we do that and run that one, all kinds of things. We have some text showing up here at the, up at the top. Now, let's change this to be instead the mouse x value. And I'll go ahead and hit play. And it's just taking a second to load. And it's kind of just drawing all over itself here. And you really can't see it. The problem here is that it's actually updating with the draw each time. But since it's never getting wiped clean, it's hard to understand what it's writing. So before we get any further with this one, we need to add in our background inside the draw. Now, why does this happen? Well, in the setup, the setup only runs once. The setup is like you're setting up for your party and you set out all the chairs and stuff. But in the case of the draw, the draw is running all the time. So if you're trying to do all the same things again and again and again, it's like putting up your decorations again and again. And that would be bad because you'd have, you know, Halloween decorations on top of Christmas decorations on top of and so forth. So let's copy our background call here and put it right at the very beginning. And this will re effectively, you know, wipe wipe the screen clean. And I'm putting the slashes in here to remind myself what why that is there. So if I go ahead and try to play it again now and give it a second to load, you can actually see the value there. It's a little bit tough to see with this color scheme I've got going. So let's change this around a little bit more. Let's uh let's make all these be somewhere up near 200. What's that give me? Oh, that's not much better either, is it? So it's giving me white text. Let's make these all be low. We'll make them all 100 or something like that. What's that going to give me? Something a little bit in the purpley range. Wow. Come back. Come back. There we go. That's a lot easier to read. So now you can see the value. And this is just my x value. So. Let's make it so we can see both values. I could do that in one of two ways. I could make a second text command here and put it in another line, or I can get a little bit fancy here and maybe put it all in one big statement. So let me do that. We'll make it big and fancy. We're going to say, let's do mouse x, and then we'll plus mouse y. Comma. Oh, I'm putting those in parentheses. I feel like folks are going to make mistakes here, but let's see what that gives us. And now it's just actually adding those two values together, not giving us exactly what we want. So what we want to do is we want to add in one more thing here. We're going to add in a space, or let's add in a comma. Comma would probably make more sense, right? So now I've got mouse x plus space y and run ah there we go so now if i wanted to actually draw 
say a new leg starting from here, I can go to 95, 167 or 168. 95, 168, and start my line. So let's make this be the, we're gonna make a line here. We're gonna say 95, 168. That's gonna be the start of my left leg, but let's go jump back really quickly. Can we see where I want it to end? If I want it to end down here, 84, 200, 84, 200. So if I say 84 comma 200, so that's the start location and the ending location. I'm going to say which one this is. So I'm going to say this is my left, left leg. So I'm going to stop it, run it. And there it is. So it's actually starting at the values I pointed out to have it do. So I could do this with other ones as well. I could have it, you know, if I wanted to put a ball or like a little hand down here. So 71... Uh, 160, 163, 71, 163. So I could add in uh, an ellipse. 71, 163, comma, and I'll make it be, I don't know, 15 by 15. With a semicolon on the end and run it. I'm not sure why it's loading partly, but here's my little hand. Same could go true for any of these other ones. Now, another little quick word about the the uh, the points is that we know at the start, I made the center of the ellipse. The ellipses are drawn from their very center. So if you look right there in the middle, it should be close to the 100 by 100 where I started off my head. And the left eye, if you look, that one should be right about at the 90, 95. Now they might be looking a little bit, there we go. That's right at the center of that one. So if I wanted to make like another spot, like inside that eye, I could do that here too. So I could say, all righty, let's come in here. And instead of it being exactly the same size, I want to make it a little bit smaller. Or I could even make it be, let's make it be that wide, but this high, because remember it's, Oh, I did it the wrong way. Width and height. That's the other way around. He's going to look more like a cat cat eye. Ha! Mm, that's not quite what I was going for, but it's still pretty fun. Let's see if I go the other way around. If I go 18. Ugh. Now he looks like he's blinking all funny. All right, undo that. That's, that's just not right. How about that? Yep, yeah, we're getting some funky guys going on here. The other thing I think I really like to do here is um, maybe change the color of some of these and change the fill. So there's a couple different tricks you can do here. If I say I want to change my fill, and in this case, I'm going to use uh, something that you may not have seen before, and that's the color selector. The color selector right here is going to allow us to, uh, under tools, it's going to let us pick a color and say if I want know, kind of some bluish kind of eyes. I could go in here and I'm going to actually copy this value. This is the hex value. This is commonly used on web pages and uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So if I put that value in instead of the three values like we did before, the RGB, this is actually RGB too, except this number is the R, this one's the G, and this one's the B. Um, if I put that one in and then go ahead and run it, you'll notice something about it. Uh, the first one's come out fine, but each time it runs through now, it's going to try to color everybody blue that's after it because it only happens and uh, one time and then it keeps going. So my little guy is looking really blue right now. Can we fix this? Sure. Is there different ways to go around doing it where I can change the fill? Well, I can make the fill go back to uh, white again right away. And all the colors, if I want to just use a straight number, Zero is black. It's the abs absence of all light. And 255 is going to be our our full white color. So let me try this one again. And there. So I've actually been able to change the fill for one particular one, have it show that one, uh, that one eye inside of its eye work. Now, if I wanted to, I can make other ones like that. So if I, for instance, wanted the right eye to be like that, I could copy that one. But as long as I put it in between these two fills, that will help. Now I'm going to say this one is 
the fill color is blue just so I know and I might do the same thing here the comments are really gonna help you if you don't if you're not putting the comments in and you want to like move one of the hands or arms or legs you're gonna be like wait which one is it because they're all ellipses uh, ellipses so you're gonna end up uh, run into a problem at some point fill color white which you could probably know that one from just looking at it but since you're all just learning it's probably a good idea to test it out so I'm going to do a similar eye for the other side I'm just I copied the right eye and I'm going to call this one uh, inside or you could say I guess it's not really the iris but inside so that one's that, this one's 10, this one's 10. Stop, play. Do, 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 do. Oh, I did made a mistake somewhere. Oh, here's the problem. The problem is, is that it's drawing, these all draw in order. So if you're doing like this in PowerPoint or something, it's drawing the blue eye, but it's underneath the white eye. So this is kind of a problem. Uh, unless I change my order. So I'm going to change the order. I'm going to put the bottom layer of the eye up here. So left eye, right eye, these are the outside parts. And these are the inside parts. So if I do that and run it, we're getting there. We're getting there. So the next couple steps are to add a couple legs, a couple feet, a couple other pieces to this, and uh, be creative. Be really creative with it. And then I think we want to start putting in some landscapes. So you can make in like a big rectangle for some green grass if you want or snow or something like that and trees. So we really want to put our little our little guy or girl here in an environment. But this little mouse tool should help a lot in trying to get you to uh, be able to see how you can pick locations without having to kind of guess quite as much. All right, so that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys are getting a uh, hang of some of this and we'll start looking at other ways we can generate these things in the future.